So now the third principle is what is called impulse momentum principle. Okay? In the dynamics class, if you finished it, or of course you learned dynamics long time ago, and that principle says, when you have, so most likely they may say, when you have two objects moving with a velocity come and hit each other, what happens? Right? So they will say, when, when two things come and hit, what happens? The change in momentum will give you the net force. So they, what they would say is, the net force caused by this dynamic system is equal to change in momentum m2 v2 minus m1 v1 okay now since we are talking about liquids it is m dot 2 v2 minus m dot 1 v1 which is rho 2 q2 v2 minus rho 1 q1 v1 okay we put them in sigma or summation just because if you have more than one wave the fluid is entering the system or if you have just a pipe like this then you have just rho 2 q2 v2 minus rho 1 q1 v1 so this is what is called the impulse momentum principle what does it say the resultant force acting on the fluid is equal to the rate of change of momentum or is equal to the momentum after the whatever minus before. So that means what is this after and before? After and before what? Any fluid change. So one of those things can be fluid is going through a bend. Fluid is coming like this and turning. So, what is the impact of this bend on the fluid? You can use this to estimate. 